Over the past year, I've been getting pretty into Dungeons and & Dragons and Critical Role. For folks who don't know, it's a show where a bunch of voice actors play Dungeons & Dragons together and they are fantastic. So I decided to try my hand at a little animation project. I picked a short clip of dialogue, this scene between Bo and Molly. That might be the, the first nice thing I've ever done. Explains why your face is doing that, I suppose. And decided to try animating the characters to it. I started out by splitting the dialogue out into a storyboard to get some sense of the framing and the action. The amazing official art for the characters of Molly and Bo are a bit complex for animation, so I made my own simplified designs. To figure out the timing, I made a little animatic based off the storyboard art. Explains why your face is doing that, I suppose. I then started adding a couple more frames in between those drawings to get a little bit more of a detailed sense of the animations and the little quirks of the movements. I also made some adjustments to the framing. Face is doing that, I suppose. I then started animating the base of the character that I split up into separate geometric shapes so that I can make sure that they are consistent and to get a feel for the whole animation before having to draw the full character designs on. On a new layer, I started sketching out the full character on top of the base. I also started adding the facial expressions to a few of the frames. And now I have the whole thing pretty much sketched out and ready for some fine tuning. That might be the, the first nice thing I've ever done. Explains why your face is doing that, I suppose. Using these blue lines that I drew as reference, I started cleaning up some of the arcs in the actions of the characters to make them smoother, while keeping spacing also in mind. Once that was fixed to the best of my current animation ability, I started a layer for the finished line art with the mouth movements also worked in. Here's what the finished lines look like. That might be the, the first nice thing I've ever done. Explains why your face is doing that, I suppose. After blocking out some colors and lighting for the characters in Photoshop, I made a bunch of materials for the color palette and started filling the line art in. This took ages and I had simplified the details a bit on the designs but there was still a lot to do. Catching up on campaign 2 a little bit there, I am still kind of behind. I added a filter over it set to multiply for some lighting as a mask over the color layers. And I made another layer also as a mask set to divide for some more dramatic lighting. I added a noise modifier to the whole grease pencil object so that there is a slight boil on all the lines. I then animated the tears and the sweat beads on their own layer in a new material. Finally, I added some more details to the costumes, like the shine to the jewelry and some trimmings on the outfits. Face is doing that, I suppose. I painted some backgrounds for the scene in Photoshop and brought them in. For the backgrounds to be less annoyingly static, I animated some pigeons just chilling on the ledge. And I added a smokestack that I animated with the sculpt tool as well. Not perfect, but I think I learned a lot from this project. And here's the final result. That might be the, the first nice thing I've ever done. Explains why your face is doing that, I suppose. I don't know what this emotion thing is. It's weird. It's, it's not a good look on you. It's, it's probably isn't. <clears throat> That's it for this breakdown. And here's a reminder to check out our online store featuring designs made by the team that are based around stuff that's relatable to the animation and design communities. We currently only ship to the US and the UK, so if you're in those areas, it's a great way to support the team.
don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and uh, feel free to join our discord if you want to hang out with us and other creative folks thanks for watching and see you next project